you know, it's like I said in the presentation, reporters are people too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the same things that we talk about with, with social media and outreach to, to those people, you know, respecting their boundaries, things like that. I mean, it's the same sort of thing with reporters. It's just you're more likely to actually make a phone call to them than you are to someone on Twitter. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's easier to take them out to coffee or something like that. So, um, you know, I've... Uh, sometimes, you know, you get to know a reporter just because you know the same people, mm -hmm. you know? I have a, um, <laughs> I actually have a reporter I know really well because uh, they covered me when I was trying to do some weight loss and <laughs> <laughs> became, became friends with this person. And, uh, you know, we, we have the same friends. We know people that way. Um, mm -hmm. And that's, that's one of the ways that you can make relationships is just by getting out there and actually personally networking with people, not staying in your office all the time. Mm -hmm. But it's also a matter of, you know, um, you know, be respectful of the person at the other end of the line. You know, I, I think one of the, the things that I always find interesting is people that talk way too quickly and don't think about the fact that someone's recording them. Mm -hmm. You have to you have to focus it on that person as the audience. Um, if you're doing you know especially a TV interview or something like that, but I think really what what helps is um, I mean more than anything more than anything that I talked about today is just be respectful. You know, uh, be friendly. Ask the person if you can help them out. If uh, if they need to record you, think about the fact that you need to slip the microphone under your shirt, <laughs> you know, and talk towards the camera, you know, talk in a way that they're actually going to listen to you and pay attention to the fact they're going to edit you. So leave some gaps. <laughs> 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 that mm -hmm. sort of thing. So um, hope that kind of addresses your question. But it's, it's really not, it's not rocket science. And right now, I mean, I actually do more with, with monitoring these things and um, le I do less of this in my current role right now um, but uh, you know it's the same thing with with anybody in an organization that interacts with press you just and when, when we come back to the office after we do an interview we tell each other how it went like we send around emails about debriefing on all kinds of things mm. we have constituent meetings and we share it with everybody in the office so that when uh, we run into a member who, you know, is facing foreclosure or something like that, we can ask him how it's going, you know, right. rather than uh, somebody coming to the office and focusing on our desk because we don't know their name, we don't want it to be awkward. <laughs> right. So that's another thing is just information sharing with your coworkers. That's obviously harder if you have 300 people in your organization, you know. Um, I imagine if you're the, uh, you know, Humane Society, it's maybe harder to share those things with people in other states, but uh, I think it's really just respect <laughs> and information sharing. And when you get these reports, when you have stuff that comes up in the press, send that around to your coworkers and let them look at what's going on because more than anything, that's how we, we do well is by sharing each other's knowledge. And that's, mm -hmm. that's it. And that's not just, that's social media, that's regular media, that's every kind of, you know, constituent, relationship there is so right right hope that helps a bit 